Hello everyone, this is a brief overview of the Safe Agricultural Spray Application Curriculum. My name is Ashley MacArthur. I shall begin with a brief overview of the topic. Spray application addresses chemical application for crop cultivation. It is regulated by national, state, and local or county entities. There are serious consequences with misuse that affect both humans and the environment. The foundations of the Safe Agricultural Spray Application Curriculum are based on the humanistic educational philosophy and adult learning theory. Humanistic philosophy is based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which address a progression of needs throughout the lifespan of a human being. The pinnacle of these needs is self-actualization, where a human realizes not only what they should be, but what they can be and can provide to others. Adult learning theory is specifically developed for adult learners. It considers the context in which human beings learn in higher education and in industry. Relevant, timely, problem-based, and social applications of adult learning theory shape the safe agricultural spray application curriculum that is designed and developed for adult learners in the agriculture industry. There are three curriculum goals on which the safe agricultural spray application curriculum is based. These goals alignment are detailed in later slides. The first goal is that employees will apply all safety practices to protect the environment, which uses the application frame of Bloom's Taxonomy. The second goal is that employees will employ safe practices to protect themselves. This utilizes Bloom's application and analysis levels. The third goal is that employees will resolve safety issues to protect each other, which uses Bloom's evaluation and Crathwell's characterization. The following are the overarching curriculum objectives on which this curriculum unit was based. Employees will practice effective land stewardship with zero violations. Employees will demonstrate procedures with zero safety incidents. Employees will assess safety situations for all personnel with zero safety incidents. And employees will cooperate resulting in a safe and environmentally friendly workplace for all. If you notice the letter and number combinations, each aligns with the specific curriculum objective. This is done to show the alignment between the overarching curriculum goals and the overarching curriculum objectives on which the unit was based. There are three instructional goals for the Safe Agricultural Spray Application Curriculum. They are that employees will apply spray safety standards, that employees will resolve spray safety issues, and that employees will cooperate as a cohesive group. If you will notice, under each of these goals is the respective taxonomy with which each goal aligns. There are five unit instructional objectives that align with the overarching curriculum. You will notice under each of the objectives is a series of letters and numbers. This depicts the connection with each instructional objective to the instructional goals. The first objective is that employees will apply spray safety standards resulting in zero incidents. The second objective is that employees will execute individual safety practices to 100% compliance with safety standards. The third objective is that employees will abide by spray safety standards to zero citations. The fourth objective is that employees will manage each other's spray safety practices to 100% compliance with safety standards. And the fifth objective is that employees will identify safe spray practices and procedures with 90% accuracy given a written examination. Each objective is specific and measurable. A total of six instructional strategies were developed to achieve the respective learning objectives and instructional goals. Next to each of these strategies, you will see a series of letters and numbers. The G's represent the goal correspondence and the O's represent the objective alignment. The strategies are interactive lectures on standards, group discussions of practices, group discussion of challenges and issues seen in the field, group brainstorming to overcome issues, non-chemical practice, spraying with water, and the use of infographics in the field. A series of assessments were selected to determine whether or not the learning objectives were met. Underneath each assessment, you will notice a series of letters and numbers. The G's align with the goals, the O's align with the instructional objectives, and the S's align with the unit instructional strategies. 
The assessments to determine whether or not learners have met the unit instructional objectives are a written paper and pencil test, a demonstration of practices with non-chemicals, application observations with immediate corrective feedback provided by trainers and managers, and county inspections of practices. The curriculum will be evaluated using Steffel Beam's CIPP model, specifically the checklist from the CIPP model that Steffel Beam created in 2007 will be applied. This is done because of sustainability. Any program created for this particular field must be adaptable. Both laws and employee rights change every year, and a curriculum must be able to be evaluated for these changes and adapted to accommodate them. The CIPP model also focuses on lessons learned, which is excellent for this curriculum because it looks at how we can improve the curriculum for employees. The contract aspect of the CIPP model checklist makes it appealing. This ensures alignment, as well as collective efforts, between the curriculum developers, those implementing the instruction, and those evaluating the instruction. And lastly, this model was selected because of the effectiveness. Not only is the model itself time-tested and proven to be effective, but it also facilitates effective interpretations of whether or not the employees and the environment are safe, based on information gathered from the employees themselves, as well as from counties and the people managing these employees and the curriculum implementation. That concludes my brief overview of the Safe Agricultural Spray Application Curriculum. Please view the following slides at your leisure as they are references. Thank you for watching.